It is to do with the Kmart thing, right. and it is a criminal investigation. So I'm going to advise you of your rights before right. we start. That doesn't mean you're going to jail. Right. It doesn't mean you're a bad it. person. Yep. It just has to be done. So I'll get that over with first. Okay, you have the right to remain silent. Mm -hmm. Anything you say can and will be used against you in the court of law. Okay. You have the right to talk to a lawyer and have him present with you while you're being questioned. If you cannot afford to hire a lawyer, one will be appointed to represent you free of charge. You can decide at any time to exercise these rights and do you understand your rights? Yes, sir. And having them in mind, do you wish to talk to us? Yeah, I'll talk to you. Okay, we're going to make it real simple to start with is we've been working on this for quite a while. There's a lot of stuff we know, and uh, as you can see, we're slowly but surely picking up on a lot of the players. So I guess what we want to do is to just have you start and tell us what your involvement is. Okay. And while you're doing that, if we have a question, we'll just interrupt right. you and That's ask right. you, how's right. that? Um, basically, um, just it wasn't about last week, I think, uh, um, Amanda asked me if I, uh, if I could do her a favor. So she was hurting for cash, she wanted to get a room, and uh, if I would pump something for her. I said, sure. At that time, I really didn't... No, you, she asked you to comp her room for her? No, she, well, she wanted to get a room. Okay, where? Um, right here at the... Well, any, any of these casinos. Which but, one did you go to? Uh, I ended up getting one for uh, right here, uh, at, yesterday and the day before, at the Colorado Bell. Okay. okay I had room I uh, 6160. Um, she... Did not stay there. The initial reason I got those rooms were for, for somebody else, and that was for her boyfriend. What's his name? I want to say Josh. Do you know his last name? I do not. I do not off the top. I don't. Okay. Yeah, his name is, I think it's Josh. Anyway, she was more concerned about him than anything. She she said she couldn't she couldn't sit anywhere for that period, in a long period of time because she she had a feeling that you guys were after her. I'm looking forward to talking to her. Okay. And. She's worried about going to you know, prison and all that. So I was like, I said, well, that's cool. I understand. You know, hey, I'll, I'll do what I can. So now, we, did she tell you why we were after her? Mm, not really. Not at that time. You didn't ask? You know, just certain, okay. certain things people don't ask about. You know, <laughs> I mean, I, none of my business, to be honest with you. The less I know about people, the better I am off. Well, she asked you to pawn it? Well, she said it. If she said it upon it. We just needed money. Okay. And you know, she was wearing some of this stuff. So yeah. I assumed it was hers. You know. Well, did you ask why she wanted you to pawn it instead of her just going out the pawn shop? ID. Okay, that's the typical story they all tell you. That should have been a giveaway, don't you think? Well, <laughs> yeah. you know. <laughs> okay, anyway. And, yeah, yeah, I didn't think it was a big room. deal. Um, after it's said and done, I found out through, uh, I guess, through the best friend. Who's she, that? Uh, Betty. I don't know the last name. Okay. And she, uh, she goes, she goes, I heard you were with uh, Amanda. I go, yeah, she asked me to do her a favor. And she goes, what's that? I go, she asked me to take uh, some stuff to the pawn shop for us. She goes, are you fucking crazy? I go, for what? She goes, she goes, you know, she goes, did you hear about that Kmart thing? Yeah, I said, I heard about it. She goes, why? I go, she goes, well, you know, that stuff probably came from that store. I go, you know, well, it's a little late, too late now, you know what I mean? How long ago was this? Um, I say, about a week, about a week ago. Okay. Well, when I ended up, uh, what I ended up doing was I did, I did some for, I pawned stuff for Betty once, and then one, two, twice for, you know, twice for Betty, and then twice for Amanda. Okay, now, where did you, you pawned it where? Two times right here at this pawn shop in Bullhead. That Which was back one? to, uh, I'm not sure, the USA pawn or they're related with the ones in, in Fort Lauderdale. Okay. Right. I went back to back uh, one Palm day. Palm Plus? Yeah. Might be Palm Plus. Okay. I went once uh, one day and then I went back again the second day. Okay. Um, that was for, um, both those times were for Amanda. One was a set of earrings and the other one were like a set of rings and, uh, and a bracelet. Mm -hmm. And then uh, for Betty, it was, Couple of rings and uh, some other some other crap I can't remember. But you know, by that time I already you know I already know somewhat that they were both they're both good friends with the two individuals who who 
apparently broke in. How much money did you get for Amanda's stuff? Uh, for Amanda, I got 115 or 110 for for one, and then uh, basically 100 bucks for the other for the other, for the second day. And how much money went back to her? Uh, I got 20 bucks out of it. That okay. included my gas money for driving, picking her up. Yeah. And, uh, did know. she go with you to both places? She was in the vehicle. I mean, at both places that she yeah both days. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, she was sitting. Uh, she was sitting in the car. Yeah. And then the second, like I said, we went to, uh, when, you, when I saw you at that other place, that, um... The gold exchange. Place. Yeah, that, uh, for that time, it was, uh, it was a necklace. That was, that was, oh, shit, I can't, you know, to be honest with you, I can't remember. But I tell you what, it was, it wasn't her stuff just, that I went to at that pawn place, that gold exchange. It was, uh, they were trying to get rid of something for her dad, who apparently as well has, that, that, this is what I know. That jury was uh, dispensed amongst quite a few people. There, it was broken down in little portions, I would say, and handed out to individuals. And who all do you know ended up with some of them? Um, I know for sure that Amanda did. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know for sure she did. Uh, and she took, actually, she had more than her share because she ended up stealing uh, somebody else's stuff. Who's somebody else? Um, guy Joe or something like that. Some Joe Zimmerman? Her ex-boyfriend Joe? Uh, I guess. Okay. Uh, like I said, I don't. I know these people, but I don't know them very well. Okay. I'm, I'm just enough to be socialized. I used to live back here in, uh, in 2008. That's when I met Betty. I just met Amanda not too long ago. All right. Now you, you were out. You say you pawned this stuff for her, and then. Yesterday is when I saw you. Right. And you were pawning more for her. Right. This, this, so actually, that was this for her is, dad. But this is after Betty already told you that more than likely this came from the Kmart burglary. Right. Did you go to Amanda and say anything to her? Oh, I asked her. Of course, well, she's going to she deny say? it. She's going to deny it. What'd she, she say? She said that she was, she was Betty's full of shit. But yet, when I walk into the uh, gold jewelry place, she texts you and tells you, let's get the hell out of here. Yeah, because she says she, she knew you from from back in the day. And, uh, okay, but why would she be worried about it? Oh, I didn't, I wouldn't know. She just worried that you were going to, because she said she just got out of prison. I don't know if she's about to get parole or, or she's on running, you know, <clears throat> abscounding or what, but. Well, the problem I have with this whole thing, okay, is that if you would have went to one place and said, okay, here's the stuff and pawned it, but you go to three different pawn places to yeah. get rid of this. Now, that doesn't even make sense. Well, it, it, you're right, it doesn't, okay? But like I said, um, depending on where we were at at that time was the closest one. I live in Fort Mojave, so I went once well, for... But it, it, okay, but now I look here. One of them is uh, the date was on the 12th. The other one is uh, the 13th, right. that's so what she says. Back to back. Well, and then this one was on the 15th, it says. Does that sound about right? Yeah, that's about right. So 13th, 15th, or 12th, 13th, and 15th, you're out getting rid of this stuff after you were told that it was probably from the Kmart stuff. Right. And you still did it. Probably, and it is, it's, like it said to me, it, uh, right now, I'm I'm in between jobs. I'm you know getting unemployment. So any little you know twenty thirty bucks to okay. me, it pays pays. Well, for I understand it. it. But what I'm saying is, is that I don't think that you're being totally honest with you about what you knew about this. Oh, well, like and I said, my, what my gut feeling was, it probably was. Mm -hmm. And you know, to, and to be honest with you, it, at at that time, it really doesn't it didn't matter to me. Okay. All I know is that they were willing to pay me thirty you know thirty bucks, twenty bucks. Hell, if I took you know two different places. That's fifty bucks right there that I can, you know, I could probably make. Well, yeah, but that now that is more honest than yeah, okay. just saying, well, you know, I just have. Yeah, to I mean, I've been, I've been, but I, I haven't met too many people in this town <clears throat> that went to the pawn shop. Well, I, I mean, I've met a lot that's told us that why did you pawn this stolen property for so and so? And they, every one of them says, oh well, he told me he didn't have an ID. That's the oldest excuse in the world. 
There's, I, to and, me, there's another reason, and you're not really, telling me. No, because they really didn't matter to me, to be honest with you. Okay, well, then, yeah, that, did, I believe that. Yeah, you didn't really get mad You didn't even ask. The you money, just did it. The, yeah, the money was more important to me than right. whether she was, you know, and in, and it did dawn on me, well, you know what, you're, you're probably really deep into this whole this whole thing. You know, but, uh, really deep. Yeah, and it's also hard for me to believe that, that you didn't go back and jump down Amanda's throat or tell her that, you know, you just got my butt in a ringer. No, it did, it, I didn't. Even though I said, even though once once all said and done, I figured this was going to happen sooner or later. How many and, and, does she have? Um, <laughs> a lot. I, I would assume a lot because um, Betty told me that she knew that she had two bags about, about that big. Each Where's one. Betty now? Uh, I don't know the last name. She's a, Is that Motorcycle Joe's ex-girlfriend, Betty? Bingo. She just got served. Um, yeah, Betty Van Hirschmick. Yeah. She was arrested. Oh, I don't know what the last where name. She was she? arrested with with the guy. Yeah. 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 Do you know where she's at? Uh, yes, I do. Okay. Where? Uh, in Fort Mojave. Okay. Well, that's a <laughs> big place. Uh, you know, I, I really like Betty. She's, she's, she's well, never... Well, and I'm not saying I don't either, but... Right. But she, I, I tell you, she's... Um, I, I don't know the names of the street. I know it's... Off of, if you go down Camp Mojave Road, okay, if you're going towards that way, you're going to make a left on Camp Mojave Road. You're going to go up to the, the very first street before the stop sign, you're going to make a left. Okay. okay? You go to the to the end of that street, you can't go any further because the dead ends like this. Right as you get to that corner street, there's a house. If you look to your right, it's got a green car, uh, Buick. I want to say it's a Buick. Okay. okay. That's the house. What about uh, Amanda? Amanda, she's the floater right now. She's bouncing around, bouncing around. She was at the Edgewater last night. How does she in get hotel. in touch with you when she wants this jewelry? Point? She calls me. But you don't have her number. Uh, she calls me randomly from people's cell phones here and there. She don't have a cell. Uh, I'm sure she does. But I, she never uses that. I don't know. What I've seen I've seen her me? I've seen her messing with the phone before, but I don't know whether it's on or not. Okay, but what I'm saying, do you have her cell number? I have one. Yes, I do. Okay, what is it? It's, uh, it's in my phone if you want to have somebody go through that. Okay, bed. well, let's, let's talk a little yeah. bit first. My question is, would you be willing to help us to find out where the rest of this jewelry is? Uh, you know, yes, I would. Or do you already know where it is? No, I don't. If I did, believe me, it's better than I need money, uh, I'd be at there. You, I would have gotten you, her by You'd now. steal it from her. Oh, yeah, right. Did she tell you she's leaving town soon? Um, yes, yes. Um, 19, 20. Would it be unusual for you to call her? How? I mean, I wouldn't know what number to call. The number I have, maybe, if it works, yeah. She has answered that phone before, and then there's other times it just goes, you know, days and days without being answered. I don't know whether she's asleep, or she's passed out, or she's just being paranoid, you know, thinking that people are trying to she, set her up. recognize your number, wouldn't she? She probably would, yeah, if she put it under my name. Which I'm sure she did the day I gave it to her. I mean, the thing is that everything seems to stem from her. You know what I mean? She seems to be the top of this list and the getting she, you involved, getting other people has, involved. She, she is. She is. And I'm not going to say that. I'm not lying. She is extremely involved in this. Well, yeah. Right. Extremely involved. And we got tons of stuff involved in her that we're not even telling just because it, it really wouldn't matter to you. It just right. matters to us. But do you know a guy named Charlie? Uh, no. I don't. Okay. Uh, Drives a black Dodge Ram? No. Okay. Uh, like I said, I just met her a few weeks back. Well, when you picked her up, or when you were hauling her around, I noticed that's a rental car you're in. Yeah. How come? Um, <laughs> that's a really long story. That's the uh, <laughs> from an accident. Uh, no, no, that that rental car. Um, I don't even know if I. You know, I'm, like I said, I'm going to be totally honest. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna <laughs> that honest, would be a good. I'll idea. be the honest, most honest individual ever meet right now. Because I'm. Um, in need of money so much. I, I used to live in Phoenix. I have an individual out there, a female, who called me up and she says, hey, you interested in making some money? I said, uh, yeah, sure. I go, what do I got to do? She goes, uh, either you or your old lady have to drive from uh, one side of the border to the other. That's it. Drive a vehicle across. $3,000. <laughs> Just like that. I said, uh, and he said, they'll pay all the expenses they'll give you money to, you know, to to go shopping with, they'll pay for everything. I said, sounds like a deal. I said, where do I go? Well, how do we do this? She goes, well, let me, I'm gonna give you the guy's number or he'll call you one or the other and you'll go from there. This way, I'm out. But just please, she said, 
let him know that if when you do do this that that I sent you in so that way I can get it in a portion of her takedown well long story short we went we went through this thing okay we tried anyway we went to uh, San Luis Mexico I mean San Luis Arizona they put us in a hotel room they had my old lady go across the border well on the way back she didn't have the right documentation all she had was a photocopy of her birth certificate and they said this time we'll let you go through but the you know, next time you come across, you need to either have a passport or your original, you know, and your driver's license, and, and they'll work with you. Once coming across, she told me all this, and then about an hour and a half later, they called her up and said, we need you to come back. We're going to give you some money, some paperwork that you need to go to the DMV, transfer this car into your name, get the insurance, the plates, so when you come back across, you can put it on the vehicle, and you're going to drive the vehicle over and that was that. Once you get across the border, you're gonna park it at a certain place, there'll be somebody waiting, they'll pay you right there on the spot, and then you're done. Well, it sounded good, it sounded like a plan, but when she went back the second time, and she already told us, hey, you know, I'm kind of leery about this. I go, well, I, I am too. I wouldn't recommend going. She goes, we need the money. I, you know, once again, we need the money. I said, all right, go. Well, she went across, coming back the second time, once she gets to the whatever, oh, you were just here not too long ago. Why are you back this time? Well, you know, she came up with the story that her boyfriend had been deported, that she was there to see her boyfriend, and that her boyfriend apparently went through her purse, took what little money she had, which she was going to use to get back to here to Bullhead, and that's why, you know, when she noticed it was gone, she went back to try to get it back from him. And uh, whether they bought the story or not didn't matter because they wrote something down, put a little tag on her ID, hand it to her and said, okay, you need to go right over there. And they took her to this one room, stripped her down, cavity searched, the whole nine yards, questioned her, they held her for like three hours and then released her. Because they really didn't have nothing on her. But that was enough for, for me to say, you know what, that's it. Fuck the $3,000, I don't give a shit, you know. We had 500 bucks in our pocket and that was, you know, good enough for me. I called the guy up, I go, look, you know, they called us an hour later saying, uh, what happened? I go, what happened was she got fucking hemmed up. You know, they searched her and everything. He goes, ah, oh, that's all right. It happens to them all the time. I go, who's them? Uh, people that, that, that said, oh, so you knew this was going to happen. And basically they, they, they just use white. They want white individuals. And as I feel like, you know, they were just using her to, if, say if she did make it across the first two times without any problem, that third time would have been the time she would have drove the vehicle across. And as I see it, they probably would have used her as a as a guinea pig and have her you know, busted, basically, when the dogs go around the vehicle. And then let another, you know, once you know, their eyes are over here, stripping down this car or whatever, the other cars go through. The ones that have more stuff in it, or more, uh, how would I say, heavier drugs. Right, yeah, yeah. heavier dogs. Right, so that's how I saw this thing whole Falling, you know, coming coming to a, a head. I'm like, you know what? I said, we're not going to do anything. And then the guy goes, oh, no, you're going to do this. I said, you know, I don't give a shit who you are if you're, you know, kingpin, drug cartel, mafia, son of a bitch. I said, I, I said, matter of fact, why don't you come across this border so I can kick your fucking you know, spick ass? You know, and he was, and he goes, you know who you're talking to? I said, I don't give a fuck I'm talking to. I said, the money you just gave us? I said, I'm taking it. I'm taking every penny you've given us and I'm leaving it. I said, bye-bye. I said, the room, thank you, appreciate that, but it's a piece of shit room, okay? It's wasn't even 100 yards from the border. I mean, literally that close. I'm thinking they were just close enough so they can keep an eye on us, you know? And it's the only hotel in that town. The only one. The other ones, you have to go to Yuma. Well, you know, once I hung up with that dude, he was threatening me, calling me back, all kinds of, you know? I said, whatever. I said, I said I'll talk to you later. I hung up. I called the cab, packed my shit up, and then went to Yuma. From Yuma, rented a vehicle. Uh, we went to Phoenix, and then from there we uh, we know, like I said, we know a couple of people. We stayed there for two days, and then uh, came home on the the ninth. And then uh, the ninth was. Uh, the so bottom line is, you rented a car to get back. Yeah, because they weren't going to pay for. They picked. They came all the way down here and picked us up. But you're renting this car now. Yeah. That's got to be expensive, isn't it? It, it was a hundred and, uh, came down to a hundred and, 
I got the insurance at 100, 120, 120 something dollars. You know, so we had 500 bucks. Yeah. So we basically put it all on a card and just, <clears throat> you know. Well, what we need to do is uh, come up with something to come up with Amanda. Now, when she was in your car and you've been hauling around more than once. Yes, I have. Did she have the bags with her? No. Now, I, me and me and Betty, we're real good friends. Uh, I've known her since 08. Um, Amanda and Betty are so-called best of friends, have been for a long time. Betty thinks, this is, because Betty and Amanda were talking, this is before I even found out about all this. She told me that, she goes, you know what? She goes, I know Amanda has that stuff somewhere. It's got to be, you know, I go, well, why don't you just ask her about it? She goes, I did. Amanda, Amanda came up with the excuse that she, she felt it was getting hot. And then she took what bag of jewelry she had and she fucking threw it in the river. And I told Betty, I said, that's bullshit. I said, I don't care how hot it is. If you're bouncing around, you know, being homeless, I said, an individual with a bag that's worth thousands of dollars is not going to throw it away. They'll piece, what they'll do is little by little, they'll pull out a little here, a little there, just to, you know, feed themselves, you know, or whatever. Because they spent thousands of dollars gambling. This yeah. much I know her and, and Josh. Or her boyfriend, whatever, Josh or something like that. They spent thousands of dollars gambling. Betty was highly upset because Betty has time and time again uh, put money out for them, you know, and got them rooms. And not once did they ever offer to give her a, a dollar. And she was really upset about that. Amanda will probably be at uh, the casinos tonight, Edgewater, most likely. If I'm not mistaken, they, they have a room there for two nights. That was the last night and tonight. Under whose name, I don't know, but I can't find out. <clears throat> now, is the girl upstairs, that's your girlfriend that's with you? Yes, that's, okay. uh, I've been with her. So what's your name? Michelle. Michelle. Michelle Neal. Neal? Neal, N-E-A-L. Yeah, the main thing, we just need to get Amanda. You know, I mean, Amanda can clear everything up because it's all coming from her. Yeah. And then she's wrapping up people like you into this whole mess. Right. So that's the main thing. In order for this to be over, we have to find Amanda. It's and not just leaves everyone else kind of holding the bag, so wagon, to speak. The wagon wheel trailer park or her dad's house, which I'm sure you guys can find. Or, what do you usually, uh, do you think you'll hear from her again or does she, you figure that she thinks you're washed up because of me seeing you out there? Well, I tell you what, um, when I saw you out there, lucky for me, um, the sheriffs came to my house last yesterday. Um, now, I'm related to nothing else, but they were looking for my nephew. Mm -hmm. My nephew used to live in the house we live in now. Um, apparently, he got caught and shoplifting or whatever, and uh, he ran. So they were looking for him for that. I said, well, shit, what better way than to go ahead and if I can just wash my hands with this by just telling him, you know what, Amanda? I said, check it out. You know, actually, I was just texting her, and she goes, um, I wrote, the sheriff's just left my house. She goes, how do you know? I go, well, I told her, well, I wasn't there. I was at my wife's house, but my girlfriend just called and told me, hey, the sheriffs were here and they're looking for you. They want to talk to you. Because, you know, I told her when, when I got back in the car, I said, you know what? I said, you're going to trip on this. I said, that uh, detective that went in there, while I was in there and doing what I was doing, she said, that. she goes, yeah. I go, he happened to mention my name. And she goes, what? I go, he said that he wanted to speak to the manager and then, I, you know, I didn't hear blah, 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 and then I heard Ricardo, and then I stopped for a second, I was like, I said, well, shit, and, you know, you know, apparently, I, you know, I'm in trouble, so, but I didn't, like I said, I played it off, whatever, and then I heard you say something about uh, the, the burglary, you know, in Kmart or whatever, and then that was it, I said, well, you know, game over. What did? What do you think she knows about that burglary other than <laughs> when she met him? Do you think she was in on planning that thing? No, I, that I, I can tell you no. Okay. But because she's been so, she was real good friends with both those individuals. This is what I what I what I heard. They they had a room somewhere. I, I'm not sure where it was. Once it's all said and done, happened. They they took off. They had some guys out in the field uh, with a radio, or a scanner, waiting for for something to go across. Well, he was in there, and apparently he was in there for like hours. He was in there for a half hour. Okay, he was in there for a long time. Apparently, that that's too long. Oh, yeah. But he was in, there was somebody out there, you know, watching and listening for the you know the police. 
letting him break, you know, telling him, hey, your coast is clear still, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, once all said and done, they went back to the hotel room with all this jewelry. They had it, I mean, literally spread all over the bed, you know. When she walked in there, apparently there was you know, her room, but when she walked in, she said she saw all kinds, all this, you know, jewelry. There was guns. There was dope. I mean, there was guns, yeah. From what and this is what, you know, what she, she was saying, I was like, she said she flipped out. She said, you know what? Everybody get the fuck out. Take all this shit with you. And then, but at that time, they were giving it all up. You know what I mean? <laughs> she, uh, you know, she said, well, this is my room. I should you know, get some of this because you guys came back to my place. I'm burning it up. So here you go. And then they were, like I said, they had a little per- portions of 10 carat, 14 carat, rings, you know, chains. They had it all separated. She ended up taking, like I said, another bag of stuff while they were all <clears throat> doing whatever they were doing. She said, whoosh, took her shit. She said, you know what? You guys can keep this fucking room. I'm out of here. I'm taking what's mine, and I'm gone. Well, and, now, the way you said that, is there three guys involved, do you think? I don't know. I don't know. All I know is it was uh, the two individuals who, you know, in the paper, and there was other people there, of course. Not in, in the room. In the room, but no. Well, yeah, yeah. okay. And there was quite a few people in that one room. Well, now you said something a minute ago that you were texting, texting right. Amanda. So apparently, yeah, I had that. That's the number. Group. That's the number that I have. So but there, you like can I said, usually just, text her. She'll talk to you back. Yeah. Last night I tried texting her. She didn't answer. I mean, I tried to tell her. You know, I said, hey, I said, because she texts me. Like I said, she. Uh, once we left the pawn shop, I went to the. I went took her home. She was paranoid. She was, you know, just take me fucking home. I said, well, "Where's home?" Uh, up on, uh, it's in the Royal Vista Estates, but it's off the Parkway. Up a uh, Hill Joy or High Jolly? High Jolly, yeah, yeah, right there. That's where she's living. Uh, that's her dad's place. Where yeah. she is, but yeah, she does frequent there uh, you know, every so often. I've taken her there uh, the both times that I was with her. I took her there, but she didn't spend. Do you know the address? I do not. I know it's just a corner house. That's all I know. Do you remember what cor- cars were there? Uh, there a truck, and there's a car that's parked in the driveway that's uh, unoperable. Uh, like an older truck? Or yeah. Or we say a car or a truck? There's a car and a truck. Okay. The truck, I want to say it's red. And or it's a... Of course. Uh, the make model, I don't know. But, but the, the other one's like a green. The, the, the truck drives. Yeah. It's the, the car that doesn't run, I think. It's like green color, maybe. Is it an older, like, beat-up type car? Or? Yeah. Okay. So. It's nothing brand new, by right. all means. Yeah. Um, but, I mean, I can I can get the address just by driving up there. But it is off a of high dollar. Yeah. Well, we need to figure out a way to get Amanda to basically cough up where this jewelry is. She, like I said, she's not a stupid girl, by all means. Well, and being, being who she is... I know she wouldn't throw it away. She's oh, gonna, well, if we can get our hands on Amanda, we can probably figure out where the jewelry is, but we got to get our hands on Amanda yeah. before she leaves, and then we're worried about having to extradite her back from another state. Correct. Well, I, you think you'd be able to text her and say you need the money and see if she'd be willing to cough up well, some more jewelry or anything? No, I can tell you. What do you think would work? As of right now, that like I said, that when I saw you, that money um, still hasn't been put in her hands. Oh, you still got it? Yeah. You could text her and say, hey, I've got She's been money. texting me all, like I said, she was texting me pretty much all evening and towards towards midnight, you know, asking me, what the fuck, are you going to come up over here? I need some money. You know, I, I need, I need you know, to get a room. I need cigarettes and this and that. I was like, but I ignored her. You know what I mean? Now, what if you text her and said, you know, meet you somewhere, and she did, and we took her down, are you worried about repercussion of anything she could do? If, you know, she, she knows quite a few people, but if for some reason, like yesterday, she was, uh, she said she was at the DES office to meet her uh, right next door, right around the corner, at that, uh, some, uh, Lizzie's a kitchen. She was in that parking lot, and then she kept texting me, saying, hurry up, this fucking place is hot, cops are driving by all the time, this is a, you know, a cop shop, and... I said, look, I'm trying to get gas money first before I, you know, before anything. I'm not even going to make it to the corner if I don't get, you know, to the gas station. I ain't going to make it halfway to fucking pick your ass up. And she goes, well, hurry up. I got a couple of bucks here. And I said, I just told you, I'm not going to make it to the, you know, halfway there if I don't get gas before I leave. So um, 
had a friend of mine come drop off and I gave him three bucks and I went to the Texaco on Joy Lane, put three bucks in and he drove pick her up. So now even something like that would be okay if she's at a gas station or restaurant, we can even write the report, you know, we just happen to go there to get gas and, mm -hmm. and saw her. Yeah, or like I said, I can, she normally, she'll sit somewhere and just tell me, you know, like, I'm over here, can you just, you know, can you pick me up from such and such place? I'll be standing outside, uh, you know. Are you willing to try that? I mean, you tell the cartel to pound it up their ass. Like, <laughs> well, we don't want to burn it. That, uh, like, that, I understand. I, I don't mind doing it, to be honest with you. We just got to figure out, once we get our hands on her. I don't, yeah. Then there's, you know, we have what we're looking for. But the problem is, if she leaves town, she leaves everyone else holding the bag. Right. And all we have well, is and she's, all she that is shit leaving town. She, there is plans for her, her boyfriend. Yeah, on the 19th, I think. Yeah, 19th or 20th, I wasn't yeah. sure. Um, they are coming back. And they're coming back with a whole hell of a lot more than they left with. Well, yeah. Well, if they go to Colorado with all that stuff, we'll never get they can have free reign all around that town where nobody knows right. where it came from. Well, uh, as far as anybody else, like I said, nobody knows where it's at except her. I tried to even, you know, Betty tried to get it out of her. That's where she came up with that story. Oh, I, put that, I threw it in the river. She goes, I was in the river. I pulled some rocks up and I stuffed it up underneath there. And she goes, I go, well, didn't she go back and get it? She goes, well, yeah, but by that time, it looked like somebody had already moved, you know, moved stuff around. I go, I'm thinking to myself, that's yeah, bullshit. I ain't buying that yeah, one. I didn't either. Well, we need to set up a plan, in my opinion, to get her to respond to somewhere so we can get her hands on her. Or even if you were to figure out where she's at, Mm -hmm. In the Arizona if side, you, we can go. If you, if you want to go grab my phone, I can grab it right here right now. Text text her or, or try to call her. Should we like, try that? We can tell you, you can go grab your phone. We don't need to grab yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah, you're not in custody. You can go no, grab your no, phone. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll, I mean, I'll go get it. Well, let's take him up to get the phone, and then we can I'll, go. I'll call her right from here. I said, you know, and then, where you at? Yeah, and if she'll tell you, and, and if you say, hey, you know, I can't make it over there, if you got some money and get over here or take the water taxi or something yeah. like that, we can scoop her up. What do you think? Yeah, I think that'd be fine. Let's go get you she's, 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 really, she's going to be very, very leery and cautious right now. Oh, yeah. Sure. Especially, you know, especially after seeing, you know, seeing yeah. the... Well, if I had known <laughs> she was there, I wouldn't have went in, or you were, but... I thought it was already a done deal when I went to
If not, we go out the back door.